Hi again, everyone. I'm John Flick with Boeing Communications alongside our esteemed Boeing historian, oh, Mike Lombardi. Story. Mike, we have movement. So let's take a, a shot right now yeah. live of the airplane, the 737 MAX 9, on this historic day as it's going to take its first right. flight. And this is something else. Mike, what do you think? Oh, this is pre this is what we uh, this is what we do it for, right? This is a great moment when when we build an airplane to see it first fly. That's what it's all about. So again, you are looking at a live picture of the airplane here. Uh, it's taxiing out to the stall and is positioned at the south end of the runway here in Renton, Washington. We're just south of Seattle. Uh, this airplane is the newest member of the Max family follows the 737 MAX 8. Now they were doing some last minute checks there, making sure that everything was great. You were watching our live picture before, saw a lot of people standing around in those yellow vests. They were excited employees who came out to watch this airplane. Uh, speaking of those employees, it's gotta be a proud day for them, Mike. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, they they put their heart, they, they put their soul into these airplanes. They're so proud of what they do and they are the best in the world at what they do. So this, they've made a beautiful airplane and, and I, I personally, I wanna thank them for all that they do for, for Boeing. Yeah, once again, the newest member of the MAX family, as I mentioned, it follows the 737 uh, MAX 8. It's, it's a bit longer than the MAX 8, it's at a little over 138 feet or 42 meters, um, carries up to 220 passengers. And one thing that's a really distinctive feature of this airplane, of the MAX, are those advanced technology winglets that really help uh, with the efficiencies of this. Uh, some things that are going to happen today. We have the pilot in command for this flight, Captain Christine Walsh, and she is joined by Captain Ed Wilson. Um, the airplane is quiet. <laughs> I think I know, we, I did, we didn't even know it would start it up and we're not. Yeah, like, it certainly is. But, so, that, uh, but that's part of that built in technology. 40 percent smaller noise footprint than other single aisle airplanes. And I think we're about uh, ready to go here, but they're going to take off over Lake Washington. Uh, from there, they're going to go through a series of tests. And then a bit later today, they will land at Boeing Field in Seattle, where the Boeing test and evaluation team is headquartered. And Mike, so many um, significant flights have taken off from this field. This is, there's so much history here. 1954, the Dash 80 flew from here and started it all. Uh, World War II, this was the site, the most important site in the entire arsenal of democracy. So wonderful history. Okay, and we do know that our proud employees are watching this. And when we talk about Renton and its employees, 12,000 Boeing employees work out of Renton. Many of them do support the 737 currently. And this just blows me away. They produce 42 airplanes a month. Amazing. Heading to 47 a month later this year. Uh, definitely driven yeah. by all the hard work that they do to the di design and build these airplanes. 9,000 737s have been built in Renton. And these do include the classics, the next generation 737, the max and again today we are seeing the yeah. the future history. we're seeing history, history and the first the flight yeah, of absolutely. the 737 uh, max 9 yeah uh, you talk with folks you talk with pilots customers as well why do you think they love this airplane the max and oh, the 737 this, this airplane well it, they gotta love it it's a Boeing airplane <laughs> so it's the best uh, they're just saying that but uh, 50 years now uh, Sunday was the 50th anniversary of the first flight of the very first 737. And this airplane has continuously improved over the last 50 years. It is the workhorse of aviation. It's the go anywhere, do anything jet. And uh, it uh, it just really is, it's built with pride. It's built, uh, it, it's just, it's just the perfect jet for whatever you need to do. So, yeah, and as yeah. it sits there, we're really getting a, a, a great view of this airplane, those advanced technology winglets, uh, the CFM Leap 1B engines. It has a redesigned tail, and then, as I mentioned, the winglets there. Uh, some of, one of the talking points here, Mike, is it's a, got a sophisticated onboard network system that allows for even greater sense of maintenance. So basically, that talks to the improvements for the 737's dispatch reliability, yeah. which is already the the best in yeah, commercial there's, transport. There are this airplane can do things that that aren't even really being used yet. I mean, looking towards the future, this is there are some electronics in this airplane are some of the most advanced mm -hmm. 
in all of commercial aviation. So it really is a plane for the future. All right. A, a few things about the 737 MAX family in general. Uh, more than 3,700 firm orders from 86 customers. The MAX is 20% more efficient than the than the first gener next generation 737. I mentioned how quiet it is. Um, the MAX 9. This has a maximum range of 3,515 nautical miles can carry up to 220 passengers. And when we talk about the length of this airplane, 138 feet, four inches, or 42.2 meters, uh, that makes it eight feet, eight <laughs> inches, or 2.6 meters longer than the 737 MAX 8. So uh, once it's in service, uh, next year, yeah. 2018. If you're, you know, at the gate wondering how do I tell between the eight and the nine, the Max Eight and Nine, um, this one has a mid-aft fuselage door because right. it's longer. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 So those yeah, plane spotters have already figured this out too. <laughs> I'm to sure they, right now. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. they have. Yeah. We do know that our employees are out watching. They're outside the 737 factory right now, uh, anticipating this moment. Um, they're very proud. They put a lot of work. And ingenuity into designing yep. and building this airplane. Yeah, everybody from the engineers that thought this plane up and, and to the folks who put it together, the best, absolutely the best. Let's talk a little bit about the pilots. Captain Christine Walsh, uh, she's a Boeing Test and Evaluation Engineering Test Pilot. She's currently the Deputy Chief Model Test Pilot for the Next Generation 737, 737 MAX programs. She's uh, she's done a lot here at Boeing. Yep. She participated uh, in the 787 flight test team as the lead pilot for uh, one of the test airplanes. They call it ZA-006. That was the sixth 787 Same. test airplane. And she was also on an around-the-world flight for engine testing on the Triple Seven Three Hundred ER program. Uh, she joined Boeing in, in uh, 1989, and then with her we have Captain Ed Wilson, uh, responsible for engineering flight test activities related to all the Boeing 737 program models. So he's on there as well. A former fighter pilot for the U.S. Air Force, and graduated from its test pilot school, and he later served as uh, an instructor there. He joined Boeing as a, a as an F-15 test pilot in 1996. So a lot of experience for, yep. for these two yeah. pilots, and. Uh, uh, maybe take us through a little bit what they'll be doing today and then how, and how this well, lays it out for the future. One of the, one of the things that, that I always like to talk about with our test pilots is that a lot of people have this impression of these uh, you know, the barnstormers, the, uh, the right stuff type of test pilots are going to take the planes up, do a few barrel rolls and that sort of thing, but it's, it's not like that at all. These, these are not only some of the best pilots in the world, but they're all scientists. This is a very scientific process that they go through and very disciplined. And so this, that's what you're going to see here. So they're going to take the plane up. They'll go through a few tests. Um, and, but this is, they'll, they go through a very, uh, a, a very disciplined process that they look at every aspect of this airplane to make sure that it is absolutely safe uh, when it goes into service. Yeah, so. and, and going a little bit through of what will happen today, our pilots are gonna they're gonna take off north over Lake Washington, where they will go through a series of tests. As you were talking mm -hmm. about, Mike, uh, each of our flight test airplanes are outfitted with sensors and monitoring devices that they gather data from the flight. And then a bit later today, they are gonna land at Boeing Field in Seattle where the Boeing Test and Evaluation Team is headquartered. Um, we talked about the history here. Yeah. Uh, there have been some other very significant, you mentioned some, but yeah. significant and historic oh, yeah. flights that have taken off from here. So we, we talked, you talked about there's about, what, 9,500 9, or so, 737s have flown here, but there's been 7,000 other airplanes, so probably more airplanes built here than anywhere else. But we can go back to World War II, the B-29 flew from here. The, uh, all of commercial jet aviation. This is its birthplace with the Dash 80. The 707 flew from here, the 27, the 757. So it's, uh, there is, this place just has a tremendous amount of history. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're coming on an anniversary, not just for Boeing, but here as well. Right, it's, this is 75 years this month of Renton. So uh, it's, uh, it's incredible. This was, this was one of the most important places during World War II it, for the arsenal of democracy. And I think, let's listen. here we go. Let's watch it go. All right. There she goes. All right. Oh, it's beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful. I gotta tell else. you, if, if you don't have a tear in your eye right now, you got no business being here. This is it. It's just beautiful. Well, it's you, beautiful. There it was oh. the first flight of the 737 Max 9. There's the Chase airplane that follows. We have Boeing photographers on there who are going to capture some great images. Um, set to deliver in 2018, the 737 Max 9 is a big. Big congratulations yeah. to the men and women who worked to design and build this airplane. And this is another milestone that is ahead of schedule yeah. for the 737 oh, MAX program. What a great day. As we watch it fly away there, we are going to wrap up and our live stream now for the day. But we're going to come back with great images and information that you can see throughout the day on Boeing.com and on our Boeing social media channels. So we invite everyone out there to join the conversation. Uh, at hashtag 737MAX. Again, that is 737MAX. Hashtag 737MAX. A big thanks to everyone out there again. Thanks to you, Mike Lombardi, Thank for you, joining John. us. Great work. Yeah. And thanks and most all. Of all. Thanks to all the employees that, that made this happen. Yeah. You're, that's the magic, and you're the magicians. Great job. I appreciate Great you job. joining us for this first flight of the 737MAX 9.